food matrix is increasingly important in nutrition. The best way to understand it is to take a good example and what better than the average apple. And an apple is something that has a couple of grams of fiber in it. When we bite an apple, we are actually spending a fair bit of our energy crunching through it, uh, biting down on it, and it takes a while before we can release uh, some of those nutrients. People have assumed that if you just chopped an apple up very finely in a processor, mashed it up, you'd have exactly the same results. And that's what you see on labels of all these foods. It assumes the same. And we've done just that and have taken uh, this apple and made it into a, a puree. And this puree is exactly that, just an apple mashed up. Although identical in terms of the ingredients, the result in the body is very different because if you compare an apple and the identical puree, you will get much bigger sugar spikes, bigger insulin spikes, bigger hunger pangs after eating the puree than you do with the whole apple. And this is because the cells are being broken up, they're destroyed, so they're releasing these sugars much quicker, and the whole process is very much faster than getting those same sugars and nutrients from the whole apple itself. So the whole thing is speeded up in, in real time in ways that our evolution hadn't trained us to do. This is why big difference that food structure, food matrix makes to our bodies.